Was that a devil trying to take my life down with him? Nah. Many did that shit twice, my nigga. I'm living my life and don't know when I'm leaving. I know that I'm needed. I'm praying every day so I know for a reason. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Mixed by Malachi back again with another tutorial. And today, I'll be showing you cats how I mix an R&B vocal down to a two-track beat using Waves plugins. That's right. I said Waves plugins. You feel me? So, um, before I dive in, I just want to let you guys know in the description there is a few downloads that's free for you guys. It's a couple vocal chains and a Logic Pro template for 2019. That's just me saying thank you to you guys for watching, man. I appreciate you guys, man. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's get this channel going, man. I got a lot of content to uh, put up and create. And if you got anything you want to learn, just put it in the description, put it in the comment box, and I'll get to it, man, straight up. It'll, it'll be the first thing on my plate. So let's dive straight into it. So this is an artist that go by the name of Sequoia Winters. I'll put a link in the description to her music also so you guys can check it out. And um, as you can see right now, this track right here is pretty loud. So when she bought it, I guess it was already mastered. So I guess the uh, producer wanted to get it at a commercial level. So... We're going to do a little bit of game staging with the track. We're going to bring the track down a little bit. And what I mean by that, we is not going to bring the level down, like uh, bring the level down with the uh, leveler right here. We're going to actually do a little bit of game staging to bring it down. So hold option, left click with the mouse, bring that back. Let's play the track back first so you guys can get a listen to it. And we're going to be doing a hook. All right, cool. So as you can see, we are hot. We're bleeding a little bit. <clears throat> I wouldn't say a little bit. We're bleeding. So um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to start gang staging the track a little bit. So all you want to do is just click the track, highlight it, and then go over here to region. Yours may be closed, so just open it up. <clears throat> and then in gang, all you want to do is just go down to gang and bring the level and bring the uh, level of the track down with the gang. So I'm going to take it to about 5.0 is where I had it. And then the next thing you want to do is add a leveler to the uh, stereo bus. And normally when I'm doing two-track songs, I like the uh, beat to hit around negative 12 or negative 13. So that way I can, you know, start getting my vocals to compete with the track. And I like my vocals over the snare. So, so what you want to do is you want to go over to... Uh, you can actually use a uh, Logic leveler for this. You know, we're going to be mixing with waves. But you can just use a leveler from Logic from this. So just go to meter. Use a level meter. <clears throat> Just drag it over here. And then we're going to play the track back. And then take the level from peak to peak in RMS. And we just want to make sure the track is hitting around here. So you see you got the little line point right here. So just take it to negative 12. This is where you want it to hit. And this is where you want the track to hit, negative 12 and negative 13. This is what I do. So let's play it and see where it's at. Okay, and that's perfect for me right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's perfect. So let's move this out the way. And then the first thing I want to do is I want to mess around with the track a little bit. I know, you know, to me it's, it's kind of bassy. And I can I can remove it from doing when I master it or I can just actually remove it from here and just add a little bit of high end to, high end to the track. So let's get rid of this because we're mixing with waves. So just go to the track and we're going to add a, let's see. Let's add an emo Q. Q4 stereo. And then what you want to do is take the frequency right here. Just bring it all the way back to 16. I'm going to take the type to a cut. And all we're going to do is just bring this up just a little bit. We don't want to roll too much off. So I'll do about 20. Let's listen. And that's all I do to the track, man. I don't do much. Like, the beat was already mixed. It sound good to me. So let's get with the uh, mix and the vocal now. <clears throat> and then let's unmute it. And we're going to mute the beat. Now, this vocal was recorded in a booth. This song was recorded in a booth. But 
The thing is, the headphones bleed it a little bit through, and I'll play it back so you guys can hear it, and then I'll show you the tricks I use to get rid of the headphone bleed. So check it out. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was lost. You. So as you can see, you hear a little bit of the headphone bleed right there. So. The plugin I like to use to get rid of that is the NS1 by Wave. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the NS1 plugin. So go to Audio Units, go to Waves, and then let's go to NS1. Mono. <clears throat> now with this plugin, you don't wanna squash it. It is a noise suppressor, but you don't wanna take it all the way to 100, or then you, you'll lose a lot of quality in the vocal. So what I normally tend, what I tend to do is I'll just take this up to about seven or eight around here and that'll do the job for me that'll do the trick so let's do seven you wasn't ready baby for my love to you i was an option baby it was lost you wasn't ready baby for my love to you i was an option baby and as you can see, that plugin works excellent, man. Like, I love this plugin, especially when, like, you have an untreated room. This plugin helps a lot, so you don't have to worry about a lot of, you know, echo, uh, echoes and stuff like that going on in the room. This will help a whole lot with that. So let's move on to the next plugin. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add an SSL channel to it. This also eliminates some of the noise, too, and I like to use the gate on this plugin. One of my top fives. Let's head down to SSL channel right here. All right, cool. And the only thing you want to do with this is just take the range up to 40, turn the threshold up to about 20. Let's play it back. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was lost. That's perfect for me right there. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to <coughs> get rid of... <coughs> Excuse me, get rid of a little bit of the uh, low end on the vocal. So we'll pull up a another EQ. We're going to use, um, let's see, let's use the Q10. All right, mono, cool. Then all you want to do is just use the first band. Make sure you activate it. So take the frequency up. <clears throat> now with this vocal, I know like um, her vocal kind of set you know, around in this range, it was, you know, like none of the, the low end was all right here. Her, her main vocal was way up here. So I just took it to about 133. Then I used the low end cut. And then the very next thing I like to do is let's click on number two. And then we're going to uh, dig for some frequencies as far as like um, muddiness and stuff like that. Or, you know, anything that's hollow or you'll hear it. Let's, um, let's see. Let's take the uh, volume, bring the volume all the way up. And we're going to take this to 16. Actually, let's take this to 13. And we're going to do a little bit of sweeping. So let's sweep for some of the bad frequencies in the room. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was lost. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. So right there, we're gonna take out, we're gonna take out, we're gonna cut right here. So let's bring this back down a little bit to about, um, I'll say uh, five, perfect. And just bring the uh, gain volume down to about 2.5 or three. All right, let's play it. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was lost. Okay, so then we're going to go to band three now. Let's activate it. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to take the gain up. We're going to turn the volume up. Let's turn it up all the way. Let's bring it over a little bit. Let's take this up to 16 again. Actually, 13, I think it was at. Yeah. Let's do a little sweeping. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was lost. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. 
All right, cool. So around 496, I'll take out right here. And yours may be different. Just, you know, do a little bit of sweep. And I got a uh, tutorial on this. So all you got to do is just go to my first tutorial, and this will be it, teaching you how to uh, EQ like a pro. So let's bring the gain down to about 2.5 2 or so. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was love. Okay, and then uh, normally I find something around the 1K and 2K area. So let's just click a band. Let's cut this band on. Let's take the volume up again. Let's take this up to 13, 14 again. Okay, let's go around in this range. Let's play it back and do a little sweeping. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you I was an option, baby. It was lost. You wasn't ready, baby. So as soon as you hear that whistle, man, that's a frequency that don't belong there. So you want to take that out. So let's go. Let's take this. Uh, actually, let's leave this at 13. Let's just bring this back down to about negative three. Okay. Cool. Me. Let's play it back. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. All right, and that's cool for that plug in right there. Let's get rid of that. Now, the next thing I want to do is a little bit of pitch correction. So I'll use the uh, Waves Real Tune for that. The, uh, I think it's Waves Real Tune Live. So let's go down to that. Let's go down here to audio units, go to Waves. Let's do a little pitch correction now. So we want to go to the W's. Yeah, Wave Tunes Real Time. Boom. Cool. I really like this plug in for pitch correction. It's pretty dope. I, I normally use a lot of uh, auto tune for some, uh, for some people's songs, but. Waves did a good job with the wave tune real time. This was pretty dope. So the only thing I like to do is I'll take the speed down to zero, take the note transition to uh, zero, and then just make sure you know the key of your song, which this song is a D minor. Now, if you don't know, if you just bought a beat from somebody and it's a two track, only thing you want to do is, man, if you uh, if you can find uh, some software called Mixed and Key, just go to their website, purchase Mixed and Key. I actually have seven, a uh, older version of it, but let me see if it'll pull up. Okay, cool. And the only thing you want to do is take your beat you have, if you don't know the key of the song, just take your track, drag it in here, and then you'll see the key results come up right here. And then over here, you'll probably see a 3A or something like that. Drag it up, 7A, whatever. Just drag it up and then hit piano. And right here, it'll give you the key of your song. And that'll be the key of your song. So the only thing you're going to do is you're going to take what you've seen in here. Let's close this out. Close this. And you're going to put it right here in the song key. You're going to put uh, whatever it is, a D minor, whatever. So I know this is a D minor, so let's turn the correction down to about 80. Okay. And then let's change the uh, scale to a uh, natural minor. Remember it's D. And then let's do a, uh, I like auto, so let's let's try that one first. And then make sure you click link right here because we're going to actually bring the auto tune up. We're not going to have it on a robotic scale right now. So let's play it back and dial in the settings. That's perfect. I like that. So yeah, pretty much that's what you want to do is just find the key of your song. Make sure you put it in here. You know, find the scale. Find the scale and key of your song. And you're good to go, man, with auto-tune. You can also use this for auto-tune. I got a video up on that too, teaching you how to do auto-tune the real way. And it's very simple, man. It's easy. It's not hard. You know, a lot of people make it look like it's hard and it's not. You can actually be in here singing, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's close this out. And the next thing I want to do is I want to start adding some compression to it. So let's click a compressor from Waves also. Normally I like to parallel compress, but today we're just gonna use one. So let's use the, for her voice, I'll say the CLA 2A. Let's use that one. And like I said, you know, when you record your vocals, just make sure your vocals are not too loud that you got them at negative 12. So when you do com when you do start compressing and stuff like that, your voice don't, your verse don't get distorted. You know, you won't go back to your mix and be like, wow, you hit in your car and you just sound like your voice is just like on a, on a uh, guitar speaker. 
uh, amp. You know what I'm saying? So let's bring this down a little bit. Let's play it, and we're going to dial it in. This is a very simple uh, compressor. You got gain and peak reduction. So let's dial it in. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was love. And that's cool for me right there. You know, I, I normally like it hitting past negative 3 dB or just above, just before. You know, to me, if you start hitting around 10 and 20, man, it's just, the vocal's just gone. You might as well just, just say forget it, man. So, and that's pretty much it with the CLA two-way. And then the next thing I like to do is we're going to add a little bit of reverb to the song, kind of thicken the uh, vocal up a little bit. So you just want to go to sins and just uh, create our auxiliary for that. So go to bus. I'm going to use bus one, but whatever's open for you, use it. And then make sure you activate the track. Let's just click option. All right, cool. Make sure you turn this from mono to stereo. Let's go up in here. Then we're going to go down to uh, waves again. We're going to use H verb. Nice reverb. I like to use the plate one verb on that. So let's go to H verb. Stereo. All right, the only thing we want to do in here, all we're going to do is just take this down to about eight. If you're a female artist, man, make sure you make sure you uh, really pay attention to this. This is going to help you a lot, man. This is really going to help your music a lot, I'm telling you. Like, you'll get out there and have the dopest songs. You can be the dopest producer, but if your mix is trash, then it's like, you know, who want to listen to it? So, let's see. And then we're going to go to low. Let's just load up a preset. We're going to go to plates. We're going to use a warm plate because the vocal is kind of warm. So, um, let's see. And... That's all we're going to do with that. I'm not going to add none, but we're just going to roll some low end off of the reverb. So let's bring the reverb down and we're going to dial it in. Also, let's name it. Reverb. All right, cool. So let's dial a reverb in. You was ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was love. So what I like to do is let's bring the reverb down real quick and then let's use the emo Q to roll off some of the low end on that uh, reverb. So go down to audio units, go to waves again, and then look for the emo Q, which is in ease. All right, cool, we there. And we want to use stereo. So again, like I said, what you want to do is just click on the first band, turn the type to a low cut, and then take the frequency all the way to 500. Which is right. Man, my mouth's tripping. That's cool right there. So let's play it back. You was ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was love. You was ready, baby, for my love. And that's fine right there. You know, like I said, while you're mixing the song, as you get into it, you may want to come back, turn it down a little bit, or take the headphones off, listen to it through your big speakers, or however you do it. But you just want to make sure that uh, reverb is real sweet where it's set. So let's move on to the next plugin. And what I like to do right after the reverb, I like to add an EQ. So we're going to add an EQ, bring a little bit of coloration to the uh, verse, to the vocal. So let's go up to the eight wave. Let's go to waves again. We're going to go up to the API 550B. Bam, mono. Cool. And then I like to start off with plus two just to check it out. So let's listen and see how much color it at. You was ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was love. That's fine right there. But note that if once I get ready to start adding the deesser to it to you know help with some of the syllables that it can take away a little bit of the EQ. So what you want to do is, right after you add the DS, so just go back in here again. If you need to dial it up, you can. So let's just go check. Let's let's add the DS now and see if we need to do it. So this is all I use on the API. That's pretty much it. I don't use any of these bands right here. Just the HF band and you're good to go. Just add a little color to the, ver to the uh, vocal. And then what you want to do is add a DS to start controlling some of the sibilance. So let's go to waves and then we're going to go to DS, which is mono. Click on that. Cool. And just use the preset they got in here. Right, you can dig for the frequency yourself by just hitting S chain. <laughs> S 
See what I'm saying? You can dig for it yourself, but we're going to use a preset today. Just go to load and load up the female de -esser. Boom. And then remember, don't dial too much attention in. You want to go past negative 6 dB. You don't want to go all the way to 12, nor 18, nor infinity. Man, so let's just let's kind of try to hit right here. And you'll notice it, it hit once you hear she say something with a T or S. So let's play it back. And see, that's perfect for me right there. So as you can see, it hit, it hit around here. But we're not in 12 and we're not in 18. So just keep it from right here and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it with that uh, plug in. And now that I listen to it, I do want to add a little more uh, EQ to it. So I'll pull up the EQ again and bring probably push it a little. Push it one more knob. Let's see. And that's perfectly fine right there. So let's close that. Now, the very th next thing I like to do is I like to add a delay to it. So we're going to add a delay to it. Let's bust a delay. So just go to sends, bus. Let's go to bus two. Remember, activate the track. Left click, hold option, left click with the mouse. Remember, take this from mono to stereo. And then let's add the H delay. Pretty dope delay. I love it, man. So let's go to H delay. Stereo, click on that. First, let's just turn this down because we're going to dial it in. So let's bring this over here. And now with this song, I wanted to kind of, I want the delay to follow her. You wasn't ready, baby, baby. You know what I mean? Like a follow. So what I'll do is I'll take this to a half note. And then what you want to do is go BPM. Take this down to 75, which is the tempo of the song. Now you want to take the high pass up to around 600. Okay, you want to take the low pass up to about 350. Same as always, 355. Turn analog off. And then you don't want to mess with nothing in the modulation, so make sure your dry and wet is at 100. Let's bring the feedback down a little bit to about 45. Okay. And now let's, t let's click this button right here, the uh, OL button, whatever. And then what we're going to do is we're going to dial in our delays. So let's dial it in. Actually, let's name it first. All right, cool. Lower case going on here, man. Let's dial in our delay now. You ready, baby, for my life. Now, when you first do it, it's gonna sound like a monster delay, but just do it again, and it, you know it'll, it'll snap back to its regular sound. You ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was love. See, and I love the way that follows, man. I love that. As you, as you can see, it's still talking to me. So what I like to do, too, is, you know, you want to spice it up a little bit, bring it down, add another emo cue right here. Let's turn it into a little bit of a telephone effect. So just just hold option, left-click option, option, hold it, and just drag it over. Open up the uh, emo cue. And now it's already at 500, which is good. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the, uh, the band right here, the uh, number four. We're going to take this. Let's turn this to another cut. Let's bring this all the way up to about 4,000 range. Play it back, and then we'll get like a little telephone effect with it, so check it out. You was ready, baby, for my love. To you I was an option, baby. It was love. You was ready, baby, for my Now, if you really want to spice it, man, you can, like I said, you can, you can spice it up, man. You can add a, a metal flanger to it, give it a different, you know, give it a different revert, a delay sound. So go to waves and then go to metal flanger. It's, it's if you like it or not, you know what I mean? If I don't like it, I'm taking it off. But sometimes it sounds pretty dope with it. So go to the M's and go to metal flanger. You know, I'm just showing you how to spice up your music, man. You know, you have to do the same boring thing all the time. So let's go to metal flanger. Here we go. Stereo. 
turn the volume down on this too. I mean, turn the mix down. Let's take it to about uh, 35, 33, whatever. Let's play it. That's dope, you know what I'm saying? Like, just be different from others. You don't gotta be like everybody else, man. Add that, spice your, man, spice your music up, dog. And then, um, and uh, the next thing I like to do is I like to add a doubler also. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send another bus. We're gonna send another auxiliary. So go to sends, and then we're gonna go to bus, and we're gonna go to number three. Turn this from mono to stereo again. Let's bring that down. Let's name this dub. Let's name that dub. Cool. Now let's go to waves again. We're going to go to audio units, click waves, go to doubler. We're going to use the number two stereo. The only thing I changed right here is I turned the gain down a little bit to about nine. Matter of fact, let's go a little more. Let's be saucy, man. Then I like to take the detune down to about. 30, take this one down to about 22, 23. And then let's bring this, let's cut this right here. All right, let's move this out the way. As you can see, you get the settings, copy down. And let's dial in the doubler now. You ready, baby. But remember to activate the track. Now, as you can see, we got a little peak. So how I control that is, let's bring the leveler down. Now, we're going to add an L1 plus ultra maximizer, and we're just going to use the true peak on that to kind of help us with the peaking that's going on. So let's go to L1 plus ultra maximizer. And it's th this is also in waves. Like I said, we're just mixing with waves right now. Okay. Stereo. L1 plus ultra maximizer stereo. And the only thing we're going to do with this, we're gonna just gonna, we're going to turn true peak on. We're going to bring this down to negative 0.1, and that's all we're going to do with that. And that'll help us with some of the peaking. So let's uh let's play it one more time. You was ready, baby, for my love. To you I was an option, baby. It was lost. You was ready, baby. For my love. And as you can see, we're doing very well with the peaking right now. And we're doing very good with the RMS. Like I said, we, we have a whole lot of room to master. That's the reason why I like to set it to 12, because I, when I master, I like to take it to negative 10 or negative 8. Sometimes I may push it, man, depending on depending on the sound and how it sounds. So let's keep this at negative 12. So we're doing good right here with our level, with our level uh, meter. And then the next thing I like to do, sometimes I like to add a uh, stereo imager to the verse to kind of spread the verse out, to, to spread the verse out to give it a little width, to open it up a little bit, to kind of spread it, you know what I mean, to kind of make it thick it's to me it makes it sound thick so let's add another and if, if you don't like it you can always take it off you know so let's go to bus let's go to bus four all right cool remember to activate the track so hold option left click with the mouse let's go over here turn this from mono to stereo let's add the plug in now so just go down to audio units waves and then let's go all the way down to stereo imager Maybe like the first one with the A and, and, and the S. Okay, here we go. S1 Imager. Cool. And then the only thing you want to do right here is just take this up to about 114. You don't want to do too much, man. I will normally do like 114, 115. All right, and don't mess with this. Just leave this alone. Just, you know, move it from side to side if you want to and rotation, common sense. So let's dial in the Imager.
as you can see, it just adds a little. You know what I mean? It's not a lot. It's perfect for what for, for the sound. So, and then let's see. I think I'm touching everything. And then what I like to do is I like to copy the uh, settings right here. So just go to settings, just copy the channel strip settings, and then you're gonna apply it to the uh, background lead. So just go over here to settings and then just paste the uh, channel strip settings and boom, you have the same settings here. And then what I like to do with this one, with the ad lib, I like to just, uh, let's go to Q10 and we're gonna roll, we're gonna roll the uh, low band frequency all the way up to around, give it like a little telephone effect with this one. We're gonna take it to like, about around here. Let's take it up some more, man. About right there, it's cool. And then even with this, I like to add the metal flanger to this also. And also, I like to take the uh, wave tune and turn this one all the way up. I like to give this the robotic sound, if you get what I'm saying. So take this one up, and then let's add a metal flanger to the um, ad lib. So go to waves again. Go to metal flanger. Whoa, it's moving fast, man. Here we go. Make sure it's mono for this one. And then all you want to do now, same thing here. Let's just bring this down around 35 or whatever. Okay. And then let's listen to the actual ad lib now. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was love. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. Let's see it one more time. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was love. You wasn't ready, baby, for my love. To you, I was an option, baby. It was love. You wasn't ready, baby. Yo, man, that is hot, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, just be different. You know, add certain effects to your vocals and see if you like it. Just try out new things and just explore, man. Sometimes people just use the same plugins. It's like, nah, man, that's it's, it's something for everything. So, and if you don't have these plugins, I'll be doing another mix on how to do it with just Logic Stock plugins. I just, you know, I got to upgrade my Logic. I really don't like the DS or Logic provides on the 10.4.4. So I'm going to take it back up to 10.4.6. Uh, 10 I just got a few little things that I use as far as the 10.4.4 as far as um, changing my template and stuff like that. I get tired of looking at this. So um, Logic, man, come on, man. Get it together, man. Give us something else to play with, man. Let's, let, can we turn these a little darker or anything? So, um, yeah, I think I touch bases, uh, touch bases on everything, man, like, this is pretty much one of my vocal chains I use for R&B vocals. I got a lot. Like 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 if you look in here, I got a lot of uh vocal chains for R&B. R&B Gold Edition, R&B Swag Platinum, man, and then it, the list goes on, man. Uh uh they, well, MBM is uh mixed by Malachi, too good R&B, smooth R&B feel. Come on. So um yeah, I pretty much touched everything with this. Let's play it back one more time. And like I said, just take the headphones off, do a little leveling yourself and you know, level out your reverb and your uh, delays and stuff like that. Let's check it out. And that's cool, man. I like the way this is going right now. So all I'm going to do is take the headphones off, just make sure everything is level out smooth. And, man, this will work for you, I'm telling you. Just copy these settings, man. You can save it as a preset for yourself. Just go in here, go to Save Channel Strip Settings As, and then you can just save it for a preset for yourself. So later on, if you do another song, you can use this preset, and it'll help you out. But don't use this approach to every song you do because, it, you know, it's going to sound the same on every song. So 
Yeah, I think I pretty much touched bases, man. Just uh, make sure you hit the, man, leave me a comment, man. If, if something you need to know, you want to learn, just drop a comment for your boy. Hit that subscribe button. That'll let you know when I'm dropping videos. I'll be, I got some, I got some stuff coming, man. And um, again, I appreciate you guys for listening, man. It's your boy Mixed by Malachi, man. Y'all take care and I'm out. Visions of the devil trying to take my life down with him. Many did that shit twice, my nigga. I'm living my life and don't know when I'm leaving. I know that I'm needed. I'm praying every day so I know for a reason.